does sound like a good one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just do one at a time. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Ben is echoing. I'll drop down. I am. I guess we're all off. Let me try it again, guys. Let me try it again, okay? Hold on. Yep. Am I echoing? I am echoing. To me or not, but... Alright, the second. I'm not just going, so haha. Drop and try to record. <laughs> words. Hey, I'm I'm just gonna drop. We'll let Hall in, bro. Do it. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I wrote furiously, so I hope I captured everything. Are you ready for me to start? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Mike gave his uh, intro, and I noticed that the red light went on. That was on the left side of you, probably your right. Um, ben started and said that he was here to listen and asked who we were speaking to, and a spirit named Robert came through. Ben asked, how did you pass? How old were you? Uh, Robert said that he was attacked and he was 42. Um, ben asked, did you live a good life? And Robert said that he wished he could have lived more. Um, ben also had asked, what do you see? And he said that he sees grass, tulips, and roses. Ben asked what happened. Robert said that he was out hunting in the um, Pine Barrens hold on, that... Hold on, hold on. Did you guys just see this? It was like something coming down. Go ahead, sorry. Okay, no, you're fine. So Robert said that he would hunt for squirrel and deer and sometimes, if he was lucky, um, fowl birds. Uh, he then went on to say that at 2 a.m. he felt like he was being followed. He was pushing a wagon and he was grabbed by the back. He was thrown side to side, his neck was broken, and whatever it was ate him. Um, he said that he didn't think that it was the Jersey Devil, even though there's rumors of it. Uh, two years later, they found his leg and skull 20 feet apart. A ranger said that the animal carried his skull 20 feet from his body. Um, and then just said that there's something in the woods. Ben asked, Ben said that was tragic. Uh, maybe it was a possible bear attack. Robert said, you're lucky. Living is the living is the lottery. All spirits want to live again. Then Ben said, you are living through your soul. What would you say to your family? Robert said, they're all dead. Uh, then Ben had asked what his last name was, and he said, same last name as mine. And then he said, be careful. Around 1 or 2 a.m., uh, on this same trail, animals pass. He said, be aware and beware. Uh, ben said, um, maybe the same animal that attacked you. And Robert said, I don't know. And then Robert said, me, my, oh, sorry. Uh, then he went on to say that his son died from a rattle in his lungs. Ben asked, can you communicate with him? And Robert said he passed. Ben said, can you be together as spirit? Um, is anything holding you back? And then you had switched over to Vern and Mike took over from there. Uh, Mike asked what your last name was and how old you were. You were. Vern said that he was 22. Mike said, how did he pass? Vern said he didn't remember. The year was 1967, I think, right? 
people correct me on that if I'm wrong. He said he was 16, not married. He, he ran away from home because he had an abusive father. Um, Vern passed from starvation in the woods. Uh, Mike asked, did you live there? And he said, yes, he got sick. Mike asked, is your family alive? Vern said, yes. Uh, Mike asked, do you visit your family? Vern said, no. Um, Mike said, do you regret running away? Vern said, no. And then he said, was your father punished for what he did to you? And he said, never. Mike asked, what dimension you're in? He said, the fourth. And Mike asked, what does it look like? And Vern said that it was a full moon with a few people, but no one had legs. And they walk, but above ground, but no one had legs. Um, and then I missed what Mike had asked him, but basically Vern said that, um, I think Mike said, what's holding you here? And he said, I'm not here, you're here. So then he um, said, what, what are you waiting to move on? And then um, Vern said, if God forgives me, I did bad things. Mike said, what did you do? Vern said he took advantage of his nine-year-old neighbor. He, I think he said he unalived her. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and he ran away into the woods and died. Oh, he was 22. I'm sorry, guys. I was writing like a maniac. Um, and then that was, that was it. You, uh, your, your bell went off. Well, you caught it all though. That was great. That was great. All right, good. Thank you. So, yeah, be careful at one or two in the morning because an animal crosses that very trail that you're on. Well, which we're approaching right now to miss one o'clock. You did a great job. Thank you, ben. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Okay. All right, I'm going to drop down if we don't need me. Yeah. See you guys. See you Thanks guys. again, Bubba. All righty. They did a they great did job. job. Yeah, it's me that was, I don't know why I'm echoing it here. What's up, Chris?